Okay, so now I am home. I commuted early this morning, so I got into Miami last night about 11 p.m. And then my flight out of Miami to Phoenix was at 7, around 7.20. So boarding was going to be early, so I stayed, I just stayed at the airport and slept there. I tried to sleep. I couldn't really sleep. Caught my flight. The flight from Miami to Phoenix was about four hours, maybe a little bit over four hours. Then the flight from Phoenix to Tucson, you're in the air only like 20 minutes. Now I'm going to drive home for 30 minutes and then I'll be home. But I am so tired. Yeah, I'm really tired. I'm home for a couple of days and then I work for six. So yeah, it's time to go home. So unloading the suitcase, this suitcase, well, two suitcases in my lunch bag. I'll wash clothes and then get stuff ready for the next trip. Okay, so I am showered, fresh clothes, and now I am tackling another room to pack. And it's going pretty good. So far, I'm full of energy. I didn't even have a nap. But you come across stuff. Like when you're getting ready for a move and it's like, how did I accumulate all this stuff? Like, you know, I have this little like mechanical toy thing um, that I bought near the Eiffel Tower in Paris. I don't even know why I bought it. It was just cute in the moment. And so I was like, oh yeah, it's cute. Let's buy it. Bike Boy is what I ended up calling it. Um, you know what? I'll go get it. Let me go grab it and I'll show it to you. So this is it. <laughs> See what I mean? Just random souvenir. And um, yeah, it's just cheapy plastic. The batteries still work. So when, <laughs> silly, right? But you put him on the ground and he just drives his little bicycle around. Anyone want bike boy? I don't need it. So I'm not taking bike boy. I don't have room for bike boy. So bye bye bike boy. These are cute. These are like um, from different museums. Okay, so this is a Matisse. So this is Henry Matisse and 1905 San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. And this is Woman with a Hat. If you were like me during COVID, like I try to bring the inner artist out. So I tried to paint these masterpieces <laughs> and I have no art skill at all, but uh, this is princess. <laughs> She's just like a blob. There's no definition. And these are, this dog passed away. This is tequila. There's no room for her tail. And this is Mr. Sniffles. Yeah, so yeah, just the stuff, the stuff that I'm coming across. It's just silly. So what have I been doing all afternoon? I've been packing and decluttering, mostly decluttering. It's crazy how much things that we accumulate. Um, doesn't seem like it, you know, but you start digging in all the nooks and crannies and then there's just stuff and stuff and stuff. So right now though, I'm just gonna get this box off the counter so I can have a workspace. And then I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to make Parmesan, Parmesan crusted chicken in the air fryer. And then I'm going to make, uh, I think it's, I believe it's called an Oktoberfest salad. Um, and so quick and easy dinner. It's a little bit of cooking, but it's like quick cheating cooking. And it's better than ordering a pizza, even though I'd love to order a pizza right now. Oh, and update, my healthy eating that I did this work trip really paid off because I lost two and a half pounds and that makes me really happy. I logged all of my food on the Lose It app. I didn't work out though, just my my days were long. I got to the hotels very late, so I did not work out. But just by watching what I ate in the four days, the four days that I was working, four days that I was away from home, I lost two and a half pounds, so I'm really happy that feels good. Um, oh, and another thing is I didn't spend one cent while working. And that seems to be the common thing. I try not to spend um, 
any money because you have to remember this is a job it's not a vacation so you can't just go out like you know and shop for souvenirs all the time or do all the stuff that tourists do because it's still a job otherwise i'd be broke because i'd be spending all my money so i didn't spend not one cent and i didn't spend money on food i didn't spend money on going out didn't spend money on coffee i drink the hotel coffee every day so like bravo i'm happy with that because it was like a no spend week work week for me i'm gonna move this box and then we'll get to making dinner it's not really heavy it's mostly like kitchen the light kitchen items okay i'm for sure packing all of my baking stuff because i love to bake like that's my thing baking um and christmas is coming up so i have to have all of my baking stuff so i'm packing all of that and then I'm just trying to take the essential dishes and some entertaining dishes. And yeah, um, my big dining table, it's not like super big, but it's seat six. I am not taking that. I'm going to buy something new, smaller to fit in that space. Um, there's things like a mid-century modern light fixture that is not gonna go with me. So I'm selling that. And um, yeah, I've been having some luck getting rid of stuff that way so decluttering making a little bit of cash so it's all good all right let's get to cooking I have a target close by so I just popped in at target and I really like this chicken it's very easy to make it's already assembled so it is um, Parmesan chicken breast cutlets so they're boneless skinless and they're already coated in the parmesan so it's like 11.99 for a pack of four i throw it in the air fryer and so this is like four dinners um you can cook whatever you need and then put the rest in the refrigerator and tomorrow you can cook the rest um so i'm going to make these super easy this will be done in like 15 minutes along with this good and gather the target brand Oktoberfest chopped salad i love it because it has everything in it um it is romaine lettuce shredded broccoli red and savoy cabbage carrots pumpernickel rye and sauerkraut crouton crumbles green onion and cheddar cheese so i'll have a salad on the side and then it was out of coffee creamer and guess what arrived in time for fall zero sugar pumpkin spice so it's autumn officially and it's zero sugar even better okay i'm gonna get to cooking now i think i said that a little bit ago but now i'm gonna get to cooking okay so i had bought these silicone inserts for the air fryer to make cleanup easier but they were square shaped and this air fryer bin is round so i'm just gonna put a piece of foil on the bottom because it makes cleanup so much easier okay i don't like touching raw meat of any kind chicken beef so i use a fork to avoid touching it with my hands and i'm going to place it in here okay i'm going to put it in to cook do it for 10 minutes and then I will flip them over for a few more minutes and then I always cut the inside to make sure it's cooked correctly so I'm not the greatest cook baking that that's my jam but cooking I just got to make sure it is cooked 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 well done it's better well done that's that's my motto
now they're nice and toasty. That was 10 minutes on one side. Now I'm going to flip them and then cook them a little bit longer. And there it is, there's my dinner. There is the Parmesan crusted chicken and the Oktoberfest salad. Now the chicken did stick a little bit. I should have put cooking spray, but I was out. But for the most part, I was, oh, I was able to save it. Um, but I'm going to eat now. It is good. I didn't, I didn't overcook it. It is still juicy. And it is thoroughly cooked to perfection. Bon appetit. You did pretty good there, Marissa.